Carolina, you might recognize this packaging or this gift basket. Did you know they were made right here in Calhoun County? Well, Soda City Living took a road trip down to Cameron to a family owned business called the Golden Colonel Pecan Company that's been around for almost 100 years. So let's check it out. years ago, my dad um, finished Clemson and um, he was um, a young man and worked for the Cotton Association and his, his father was, um, was a doctor, but he got some trees came in from Mississippi and planted the first trees in South Carolina. Dad got an interest in pecans, very competitive, and so he thought he, would, uh, he wanted to get into that. So in 1924, he started Golden Colonel Pecan Company. So, which like you mentioned, it'll be 100 years old next year. We look so excited about that. So he did that and he dealt with so many. In, in the South, a lot of people probably listening to this conversation know that everybody had a pecan tree in their backyard. And so we call that a yard tree. And so they would buy all the nuts from there and from accumulators from bigger farmers and so forth. And he would ride all over, pick up the nuts, bring them in the plant and crack them in the old plant. Uh, that caved in in 1973 with the snowstorm we had. So we had to decide, Dave and I, my brother, had to decide whether we could build a new plant. Mm -hmm. Big decision for young fellows at that time. And so we continued on with it, the legacy of dad. And uh, our mother, dad, died unexpectedly, untimely in 1950 in an auto accident. My brother and I were eight, nine years old. Our mother continued didn't shell, but she continued buying nuts from all over the state and became what you call an accumulator. So she would accumulate a load, sell them to big shellers in Chicago and Georgia. And that's what she did. And then my brother David and I came back in 1968 and said, let's rebuild Golden Crown back to what it really was. But we were small family, so we had to find a niche because we didn't have the money and so forth to do it. So we became a niche. We just said, okay, we'll go and do a gift business. So we do fundraising, direct mail, and small wholesale accounts, and that's kind of what we did. So this has been our niche for the last 54 years. And as I mentioned in conversation casually, we talked about David, my brother, passed away a year and a half ago. And that was a big loss to us, uh, to me personally, because we are about 15 months apart. So that's part of Golden Colonel. Uh, We've enjoyed it. We've got good people working for us and with us. We don't call for us, with us, with us, and uh, the girls that help us. And we have David's son-in-law, Jerry, which you will probably talk with later. Jerry has been wonderful to us. He's been here about 25, 28 years, and he uh, kind of runs the business and um, he takes a lot of decisions. Uh, being a hands-on person like I am, he's really taken my hands off of a lot of things. So we've enjoyed uh, being part of Golden Colonel all these not 100 years quite yet now. Almost, not me. so close. Not me, not quite 100 years <laughs> <Yeah>. old. <laughs> I'm working on it though. Yes, yes. So I, I do appreciate much y'all coming down to be part of it, to um, to thank people all over who come, you know, from Columbia and Charleston and Greenville in the state and then we ship throughout the United States right. and worldwide if somebody wants to ship them overseas to a lot of the military, you'll see some of the pictures on the wall. Mm -hmm. And so we do all that. It's, it, it's been great. It's families, you know, a lot of people come in and old time, old timers like me, and they'll tell, we got stories, you know, they got stories about daddy, got stories about mom, they got stories about their business and how, it, you know, appreciate a lot of, you know, when I buy pecans, whether it's five pounds or 500 pounds, there's stories there. Mm -hmm. And then they'll ask me, Bill, why didn't I make pecans this year? I put the old, you know, old, um, stick, the old spike in the tree. Well, back in old days, you didn't have fertilizers like we do, so you had all the iron and magnesium in this in this old uh, spike. Mm -hmm. I said, whatever you want to do, to do it. If you're satisfied with that, I don't care if you put the spike in the tree or you wash your clothes in the backyard with lye or soap. Whatever does it makes it. So you don't ever tell anybody what they're doing is wrong. But I always say we've got fertilizers now that are much better and they have the mono elements that you need. So you don't have to put that spike in there and wash your clothes in the backyard now. Yet. Right. And it, it must be such a feeling of pride to, to be a part of this business and then see the future generations starting to take over. What has that been like? 
Well, I think it's good to see it continue. We just, um, like I mentioned, I want to go into family, but we had all girls, which we appreciate very much. And uh, so Jerry being in my nephew-in-law, of course, son-in-law David, so it's good to see him stay with us and carry on. We're not sure what the generations below, but we, we think Golden Colonel's history is very important, not only to us, but also to the pecan industry. South Carolina is not a big producer of pecans. You know, we go from California to Virginia, but South Carolina is probably one of the smaller. We, we produce maybe, with these managed orchards upstate, maybe two to three million pounds a year. Georgia does 130 million pounds a year. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, we do do more peaches than they do. They do more pecans. Pecan. Remember that. But gotta say, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure my mother was an English major from Columbia College, and she said, you know, we, you, you say, do you say pecans, pecans, or whatever? You have to say pecan, or you can't say pecan, but don't say like we do southern pecans, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so the legacy is here. We have um, the gift shop that people come in now. We're getting to be, we have more word of mouth. We didn't do a lot of advertising. We do a small amount. But if you've got good quality, good people, and a history of, the, of, of a good history, people come back to see you. Mm -hmm. And that's what we, we do. We do a lot of our stuff here. Uh, we do a shelling here. We do buy things at different times that we might need to fill in the gap. We have a kitchen that makes our pies and, and some of our candies and also our coated nuts that we have here in display. They, we do all that in the kitchen. And we have wonderful ladies and men that help us back there. It smells good. I hope you'll get a chance to visit that when you, when you move on from here. But, yes. Uh, so we're excited about Golden Carol and I hope that um, once I'm gone, that it will continue and um, be well thought of throughout the state and, and wherever. We have, uh, we've been members of National Pecan Shell since 1968. Mm -hmm. And um, you see, we mentioned that they recognized both of us last year, you know, the, the, uh, the Achievement Award, and we're sure appreciative of that. Being not big, but being part of it. You know, sometimes you don't have to be big to be part of the conversation. Right. I used to use the terminology, it took a cluster you know, there's a cluster of nuts, but the little small ones in it help make that cluster, you know. So you don't have to be big to make the whole cluster, you know. That is a great nut analogy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't say we weren't nutty, but we <laughs> So what are your goals for the future? Well, the thing about the future in, in this type of business, you want to stay, you don't want to fall behind. Now, I look at competitors, larger ones and smaller ones, they have brochures about pecans. And the same coding, same this. If there's a new idea or you know, something that can promote the nut itself, you want to make sure you're part of that. You don't want to sit idly by and say, well, I got the same old bag of pecans, the same as mm -hmm. people, people like to see maybe there's some new ideas. And so that's, um, we don't want to fall behind in that. We want to keep moving forward. And uh, the industry allows that. So we can do that, and uh, so that's kind of what we want to make sure we don't uh, lose sight of that because uh, it's important to do Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Well, I loved hearing about the history of the company. Such a wonderful Midlands institution. I can't wait to see what's going on in the back. <laughs>